Hi and welcome to this new video about Apache Spark 3.1 features and this time I will show you that starting from this version we can do the full outer join with the shuffle join strategy with the shuffle join physical execution. So to show you that I will use the same code but executed against different Apache Spark versions. So this one as you can see will be executed against 3.1 zero and this one will be executed against spark 3.1 so what this join is doing in the method so what will be the demo code as you can see i explicitly saying i'm, I'm explicitly saying that i don't want to use the sort merge join and also i'm setting this auto broadcast threshold to something big because you will see later in the when i will run it in the debug mode this property is used to determine to this property is used to check whether the shuffle join will be more attractive than the broadcast join and also that whether it will be safe to build the in-memory structure the joint to keep the joint the joint rows on one be on on one or on one of the join partitions so in the demo code i will have i will try to do two different joins in the first join i will do i will perform this join between a big left side and small right side meaning that we will use the right side as the build side and it, the build site is the site where Apache Spark will create the in-memory structure, in-memory uh, map to keep the rows to join. So in other terms, it will stream the left side to the right side, in, at least in this scenario. And I will do the opposite in the second uh, case, where, as you can see, the left side, which has only 10 keys, I'm always confusing whether it includes so it's 11 keys currently so the left side which has 11 keys will be joined with the right side having 56 keys which is much more than 11 and that's why when we will see when we will check the execution plan we will see that we will deal with full outer join but this time with the build left attribute so let me run these two codes in the debug mode, but I will have to enable all the breakpoints I need. So that's all of them. And I will, yes, before running this code, I will run the old one, just to show, which is exactly the same. And just to show you that in that scenario, for all, full outer join will not be used, simply because it was considered as a risky operation in Apache Spark. 3.0 for a uh, full outer join. So that's exactly what happens here. You can see that we are using the sort merge join for the second query, and we are also using the sort merge join for the first query. So let's do now the exercise and run the code, the same code on top of Spark 3.1. So we, we can see that we already started to build the execution plan and we very we are verifying so the framework is verifying whether we can use the broadcast hash join and you will see that it's not possible because because none of them can be broadcasted so now we will do the same check but this time for the shuffle hash join and this time we will only check whether the user explicitly included the hint in the query and since it's not the case this check will also return nothing so as you can see the hint is empty and also we cannot use the hash, shuffle hash join for both sides Okay, and now we will do exactly the same check, but
but this time with the hint disabled and this time we will perform some checks based on the data set we are joining so the first data set is checks the broadcast side And since we cannot broadcast the, the can we cannot use the broadcast join, we will fall back to and we also explicitly denied the use of the sorted merge join, we will try to use the shuffle join. And the shuffle join also checks, also runs, sorry, so the previous execution was for the broadcast join, my mistake. And this one is the good one, which will be executed on top of a shuffle shuffle hash join with the hint disabled so this time we will instead of looking at the hint we will check whether whether uh, one of the join sides is smaller than the auto broadcast join threshold which were which i set explicitly to quite big value multiplied by the number of shuffle partitions so is the first check and the second one is the verification the comparison between two join sites and if and if one of these sites is three times smaller than the other we will be able to perform the shuffle join so let's check the flags here and you can see that the uh, build right uh, flag is set to true meaning that the right side that we want to join is much smaller than the left side and also it's much smaller than the broadcast threshold multiplied by the number of shuffle partitions and globally it's the sign the sign that we will perform the shuffle join just in case i also added some debug breakpoints if we, we had to fall back to the create sort merge, sort merge join even though we explicitly didn't uh, want to do that by the, by defining this configuration property to false so logically yes we already executed the first query with uh, build right because the right side is smaller and now we will do the same but this time we will see that the build site will be left so the, once again we start by looking at the hints since they are not there we are falling back to the let's say a data set based join strategy and we are starting by checking the broadcast and since it cannot be done we will go to to this create a join without hint and we will try to either use the sort merge join so they use it here or to create the shuffle join if it's allowed and in our case it will happen because these conditions you saw previously will be fulfilled so once again i will maybe do it differently this time you can see that the complete result is true because the left side is smaller than the broadcast threshold multiplied by the number of shuffle partitions and moreover this time the left side of the join is three times smaller than the right side of the joints meaning that it will be the built side so the side where we will create the in-memory structure to perform the join with the right side that on on its uh, on the other hand will be streamed to to the left partition so globally that's yes so globally that's all you can see that correctly as i was saying just before uh, the build side of this join will be the left one because it's much smaller than the right side and globally that's all for the full outer joins with shuffle join strategy and believe me there is no there is not a single modification regarding joins in apache spark 
3.1. There are many other ones, and some of them you can discover, and you can discover some of them in the article which is linked in the description of this video. It was Bartosz Konieczny from IT4Code.com. Thanks for watching.